Hey Dave, how do we set up visual references in the Elite FTS gym? A yellow collar. Five twenty-five. There's some new guesses. What are you doing? Like, uh, what, what are you doing? <laughs> I, thought you, I thought. Well, I thought you were benching today. First off, but what do you? What, what do you like? What, why are you maxing out? I'm so confused right now. That was fun. I know, but the last time that we talked, it was all about kind of like maintaining this physique bodybuilding type of structure. Yeah, I'm maintaining my max. And your show was like, what? Two months ago. Two months ago, and you yeah. just max it out because you want to? Yeah. How's it look? Like shit. That's why I'm asking, because it looks like shit. Uh, uh, so I'm, I'm, okay. I can either be the realist or the enabler. I'm going to be the enabler. Okay. Right? Realizing that you're still going to do this shit here and there. Um, you're, <clears throat> when you came out a long time ago and we talked about the dead with, we talked about kind of how to phase that through your different, yeah, get them on, but to get you through those different phases, seasons of your training. Yeah. Bodybuilding, powerlifting and so forth. Right. <clears throat> you're, you're, you're squatting singles like a bodybuilder and not squatting singles like somebody that should be squatting singles. Do bodybuilders squat singles? You are, <laughs> even though you're not in a body. In other words, what, what, just to cut to the chase, we got to get back to the feet being rooted, the feet being stable, your whole body being tight, everything working as one, instead of just squatting to focus on the, the quads, if you want to get a bigger squat. Does okay. that make sense? Yeah. Because you're kind of, a set of 10 squatting for quads, glutes, and so forth is different than a heavy single, but you're doing the heavy single kind of like it would be a set of five six seven wow well, it's that bad kind of kind of but it's <laughs> but it, it, well keep remember too that if you're doing high rep sets you can't maintain that same torque and tightness yeah for the whole thing yeah you're you right for the yeah. heavier stuff forget about that so now we need to re-educate which okay. you already know so it shouldn't take long okay how to get tight so we let's we're going to take the weight down right oh we don't so, gonna go back up i got more in me no no, not right now. We can go back up after you go down. Um, so we'll probably, what's going to feel light enough for you to actually make corrections with? In other words, maybe, I'm not going to say it's going to be a minute set, but say it's going to be in your back for 30 seconds, something oh. like that. And not at the bottom. I forgot. <laughs> Let's go two and a quarter. Let's go two, two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Oh, God, that's a, that's a lot. You're cutting me down. Well, if, 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 I have other people just start with the bar. Right, and yeah. the reason I have them start with the bar is because your feet are doing some some things that we need to tighten up a little bit. Really? Yes, but when you put weight on, it makes it easier for your feet to do what they want them to do because the weight is pushing your feet into the ground. Yeah. I'll have other people just use the bar because it's not enough weight for them, and then they can move and practice the foot mechanics. You already know them. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like what you need to do with your feet. It's okay. just kind of getting in there. Let's go with two and a quarter. Mm. Treat the lightweight right. Yeah. Treat light. Treat lightweights heavy and heavyweights light. Right. Wait a minute. No, the heavyweights are supposed to feel light. Yeah. Not treat yeah. them light. Yeah. yeah. That that's a. Uh... Mm. Okay. You get it. Anyhow, <clears throat> everything set up just kind of like you were. Be more deliberate with your feet. You just do a triple. Drive your feet in the floor like your leg pressing, so I don't see you any your no foot movement at all. Good. Good. You're going forward a little bit. Act like the floor is a leg press. Leg press it out. There. Right. Right. So instead of the little little movement that was happening now, we have it going straight through. Yeah. Right? The argument, debate, whatever you want to call it, is the people that will say you're supposed to keep a real tight arch in your foot. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't disagree with that, but what if somebody's foot is too weak to be able to keep the arch? 
then all they're trying to do is to like grab the floor and become even more unstable. Yeah. Where I'm just looking for the foot to be flat as it can be and not move. Do you do the rooting thing with the feet? Where if I have to, right? So your feet are good right now, but let's say they're still moving around. Yeah. I'll tell, I'll go all kinds of different directions. Let me take the shoes off. No, because you can, but I mean, it, 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 does, it doesn't matter because you're fine. But yeah, because the toenails need clipped. That could be true. Well, yeah. I don't want to know if that's true or not. But some people, the queuing becomes a weird thing, especially when you're online, right? Because somebody can say spread and grab. But then what they do is they spread and then they grab and now they're pulling the, most of their foot off of the floor because their arch is completely coming off the floor. Yeah. But then they'll hear somebody say, well, that's what you're supposed to do. But yet when they squat, their feet are still moving all over the place. Mm -hmm. So if the feet are grounded, rooted, whatever you want to call it, and it's not moving and it's stable, then we can start to go up. I work from the, from the ground up, right? So if I can start with the feet, get that stable, then I can start looking at shin angle. Uh -huh. And then shin angle compared to what? Like what's that person's goal? Is it a multi-ply lifter that needs to sit way back? Is it somebody that wants to build their adductors that wants to squat wide and sit out? Is it a power lifter that normally squats with a knee over midfoot? Yeah. I have to match whatever that shin angle is, which I haven't had that discussion with you yet. So no, but that's as we go up there and then that's going to determine the knee position. Everything goes up from there because anything that's moving just a little bit down here is going to make the bar move more up here. Okay. Right. If the more, the more the bar moves more up here, the longer it takes you to get settled before you can squat and the more it could pitch in a direction you don't want it to pitch in. This is simple. And with the feet where people get confused is, you know, somebody says you need to push out like this. Somebody says you need to corkscrew like this. Somebody okay. says you need to do this and this. I'm doing all those things at the same time. Or, I listen or to one of them, right? I've, I've had people that I've had to tell, lean up on your toes. Oh, really? And that's because they're sitting so far back on their heels that they're overcompensating and always falling over backwards. Yeah. So the cue doesn't matter. What matters is what they do with their feet. Oh God. You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And this is where the internet becomes very oh, interesting because no. they're going to hear me say, get on your toes. Or they'll hear other people say heels, heels, heels. But you're doing it specific to a lifter. Yes. And they're going, oh, I need to do that. Oh, I need to do that. Oh, I need to do that. Yes. Well, wow, guys, if you're watching this video, you need to get on your toes, your heels, spread the floor and corkscrew. Or just act like you're pressing a leg press because most people understand that. Yeah. Like if they're pressing a leg press and you're, you're too much on your heels, you kind of think something doesn't feel right. Yeah. If you're too much on your toes, you're like, this feels kind of weird on my knee. Yeah. But when you push and you have that force evenly distributed, yeah. you're like, this feels good. Maybe I need to practice the leg press with the wide stance because I like squatting heavier weights with the wide stance. And when you mm -hmm. told me the leg press cue, I was like, I don't ever leg press wide. How the hell do I leg press like this? Mm -hmm. But you, you get know? the foot though. Yeah. Right. When you, if your foot feels off on the leg press, you're going to either move your foot up, up. or down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If, if it's too, I got to think, if it's too far down, your heel's going to be off of the plate right yes, yeah too much on the knee so you move it up no yeah. your heel will actually be off the plate if it it's will, too yeah. far down well you'll try but you yeah. can, it feels weird some tom platt shit yes yeah, and there's probably a reason for that but there's that's what i'm looking at here the, to me this is low hanging fruit for you because you know it but after spending all that time bodybuilding doing the higher repetitions it's now you got to get into how do i get my whole body tight to be able to do a heavy single because after a heavy single if you think back to when you were training that way you're exhausted as all hell after a heavy single yeah and it's not really so much the concentric part of the rep that exhausted you the most it was getting things set up getting your body wedged getting everything tight you know, warm-up sets taking flat. it seriously honestly yeah, yeah. and warm-up wears yeah it's just like yeah you're creeping up in weight yeah. it's not like that's that's a lot of volume on on thinking things through because you can't just bitch on your warm-up sets and get to your top sets so you got to treat that stuff like it is your top set yes. and then all that really focus and really thinking about it does make you tired yes. you're so right now for the specificity of the squat yeah why are you going to be squatting moving forward I already know kind of what your training plan is. If you guys don't know too bad, I'm not telling you, but I know what your training plan is. How do you see the squat fitting in, barbell squat fitting in? 
yeah. to what your overall plan is. It's basically an indicator where I want to make sure that it doesn't fall below a certain threshold. Yeah. And I just want to al allow myself to kind of get into it when I want to do it really well when I do do it. And then this is actually how I increased my squat the last yeah. two years was I basically squatted when I felt like it, which happened about every six to 10 days. Yeah. And then I would work up to a top set. I would do it, and then I might do a back off set or two. Top and set of what? Of squat. I know, but what? Single, triple? What? Single. Okay, all right. Yeah, sometimes a double or a triple. Yeah. Oh, just based on how I felt. If I didn't feel as strong, I might back off a smidge for a top set and do a double or a triple, honestly. Mm -hmm. And if I felt like I could go higher, I would do the single. You know what I mean? Yeah. So how does it fit into my overall plan? I just want to keep it. And yeah. just see if it'll just kind of go up on its own. You see what I'm saying? But you need to be prepared, physically prepared to be able to do this Correct. single and not get hurt. Yes. Right? So how you're going to approach that training is going to be like the old power lifter peaking cycle. Yeah. Right? So more deliberate, more tight, that kind of stuff. On the other days that you'll be doing different shit, it's the higher reps, you know, however you're yeah, doing yeah. that. So the breathing's a little bit different, mm -hmm. you know. So here we got to get back to breathing. So this is all tight. Yeah. Um, I'll have you do one more because I don't want to just look at the feet. This time, just be real intentional with your feet. I want to look at the shin angle and I want to look up a little bit more. Uh, just a couple reps. Two reps? Yeah. good oh that's good um why do you keep your chin down keep it down yeah why do you keep it down <sighs> when i look up i feel like it arches me too much i feel more power when i'm kind of in this position yes on the way down okay so it's about, it's about an, it's to keep the spine neutral yes okay um i'm gonna bring your head up but i don't want you to change your spine okay right the reason i want to bring your head up is because when you're like this and you, you, you're, I don't want to say you're in an oxygen debt, but you're, you're not going to be able to breathe Oh, because it's all trapped down. Oh. Right. So even if you're going and you're straining, you got to breathe through, you're in a position that's going to make it harder for you to breathe through. Gotcha. Right. And your focal point is going to change while this is neutral. This isn't, you know, so this is also kind of rounding a little bit. Right. So how much do you want me to look up? I'm going to just have, I'm going to stick a collar on one of the bars and just kind of go from there. Because oh. what I really want is I'm going to want, <clears throat> this is another one of those chewing things that gets weird, right? I want the sternum a little bit higher than what it is, where if it goes too high, then you're in too much of an arch and then that creates a problem. If it's too low, then you're actually almost doing like a crunch setup the whole time that you're squatting. Yeah. So you're decreasing the ability for you to store more oxygen and base basically you're making a smaller base right through here that could be stronger with that so i don't know how much of it is this or this uh -huh. because of the head right so if i can get the head just to change a little bit just tilt up a bit then i'll okay. be able to see so yeah we'll you giving me something to look at yeah the yellow cut that high huh yeah wow okay. well, I, well yeah, actually i'm not too sure i gotta wow i'm guessing because you really do look down holy shit! Um, actually this might okay i got a, I got a funny thing to tell you here in a second let me do this rep though so this is a visual representation of where your head needs to be that little yellow ah I, I figure the eyes would lead the head yeah yeah this is too high though yeah oh that's more like it oh yeah I got a little tip there. <laughs> One of the first videos on this YouTube channel before, before anything was a backflip tip video. You can check the card at the top of the screen. If you want a better backflip, you want to look at something like low there. Even yeah, we'll lower. See, that's at. see what I'm saying? I'm kind of in the habit of looking down there like that. See what I'm saying? Uh, having a visual reference yeah, yeah. for something while you're doing the action. Yeah. All right, so just a single. Power, power, 
our collar. Good. All right. Wow. That was, uh, I was not going to do that unless you said collar. Yeah. I was like really just right back in. <laughs> I completely forgot until you said collar, 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 collar. What on earth? I don't know. Oh. This is great. You know, you're gonna make it off center. You're fucking with me now. Why well, it doesn't? I don't you just gotta move it a little bit to the left, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> there go. Hey Dave, how do we set up visual references in the Elite FTS gym? A yellow collar. <laughs> <laughs> Highly advanced. Around. What what I'm looking for is the the, the neutral spine position, not just here, but through here as well, right? Mm -hmm. So when you got somebody that's like this and it's rounded, mm -hmm. then I can't sit here and say, look at the, this picture on the wall, hmm. right? And the picture on the wall is too fucked up. I'm sorry, it's too messed up <laughs> right. here because there's too many pictures. There are so many over I'm there. Saying, look at the guy in the red shirt. They're, right. they're not, a lot of them. yeah, they're not thinking. Yeah. Where if I go a yellow collar that's straight for most, you know, it usually works. But if they're down, then it becomes, you know, getting closer to where they naturally are at, mm -hmm. but just pulling their eyes up just a tad and then bringing it in until I find this neutral with where it needs to be. So these go lower, the collar? Well, I'm bringing it forward to oh. see this so you don't have to stretch your eyes as hard. Okay. Right? Because when you start stretching your eyes as hard, you're going to stop thinking about everything else. I got to find a, somewhere. Like, oh, gotcha. Somewhere that's in the middle. Gotcha. So you're using the eyes to set that spine position. So basically your head when he follows your eyes. So when he sets up training. looking at that, that's what he's looking at the whole time throughout the lift. Yeah, and this one's gonna be even more messed up. He's gonna have to do it before he squats down. Ah. So he's gonna have to do it after he the uh, whole as he's set up the set up to squat. Yes, as part of as part of the setup. One or two reps. One. Look at the collar. Mm hmm. Like, and stay right on it. Like, do I look up like this? Like just straight on? Yep, just yeah. right there. That's all we're thinking. Yep. All right. What's he doing? Oh, no, what is he going with it? What's he doing? He's moving further away. Oh, I feel like I just lost some ground somehow. Wait, as soon as you start saying, as soon as you start asking, what else should I do here? That's an indication to me something's wrong. Yeah. It doesn't matter what happens. You know, you didn't know where to go. You didn't say that when it was there. Yeah. You didn't say it when it was on the other bar and when it was up higher. Okay. Right. So just that's creating confusion, and the confusion is what I'm trying to avoid. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Because all I'm trying to do is to figure out what shin angle you're going to be the, the best at and the most comfortable at so we can start working more up the chain a little bit. Yeah. You know, so I kind of, I jumped here, you know, to the head because it was so rounded that it is creating a little bit of your knee going. I'm trying to figure out right now if I, if, if I want your knee to shift forward like it is uh -huh. or to actually shift out. Right, because you are moderate stance. So we can have some of the intent being more adductor or glute based, which is gonna make your squat stronger, or we can keep the in intent being like more quad based. And that depends upon where this positioning can be, yeah. which falls on where I can keep your head positioning to be. Gotcha. All right. Do another one. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, I can't is, it, is it recording? Yep. Dave, could we use a red collar instead? No. Okay. Because <laughs> that's aggression. Man, everything's red in here. <laughs> <laughs> then you're going to grab salts. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's, it's hard to be aggressive when you're confused. <laughs> Yellow is success. Oh. Yeah. Collar. There we go. Good. Now 
on that one, your bar path on the way up was in a straight line. It was in a straight line. 100% in a straight line. So that's what I'm looking for there. Is that straight line on the way up? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now, what do you do when breathing, bracing, whatever people call it, what do you do before you go down? Tell me what you intentionally do. I breathe in through my nose and try not to let my shoulders rise. Yeah. And then I kind of, a little bit of extra air in my breath still while keeping my shoulders in. Yeah. And then I'm ready to go. What do, so, you, what do, what do you do intentionally with the Kind of breathe into the belt so I kind of <laughs> expand on it. Okay, now when you do that, do you ever, ever flex or you just hold the expansion? I don't know, sometimes both. All right, so act like you're going to squat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, do what you normally do. All right, now, see, that was too aggressive, but anyhow, relax for a minute. No, I'm going to let you go. Ah! Okay, I'm going to have you do it again. Okay. No, 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 right here, right here. Same thing. All right. Yep, do it again. Okay, that's good. What I'm checking for is to make sure that it is 360 degrees, right? But what you're doing is you're, is you're, you're breathing, you're breathing, you're breathing, and then when it comes to flex, you're like punching it. Yeah. Breathe, 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 and then flex into it in a slower, more gradual state. Okay. Right? Any like that is going to create a bar that could potentially move. Oh. Right? So if it's more, and you'll be able to flex harder if you slowly flex into it, you'll be able to get oh, I got you. and then just boom. Okay. Okay. So it should all become one. It's like the breathe, the flex. Okay. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a different adjustment because I brought it close, but I didn't bring it real close. Mm -hmm. Right. So now that he's more aware of where I'm looking for the thoracic spine, you know, his neck to be. I'm going to try to actually drop the collar right right here. Or oh, right shit. Here. Oh, wow. You're, 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 you're already looking here, right? Yeah. That's where you were before. And just see what happens because the big cue there again is there's other things I want to fix. And I don't like the word not comfortable when it's in a mental realm. Not yeah. comfortable like my back is super tight. You know, yeah. that's a different type of thing. But actually, let's go. Yeah. Ooh, that's that's where I was though. That's like, was I really that? You were actually looking at your feet. Oh, really? Yeah. Which was one of my concerns because at first, can I, I was try wondering, something? Yeah. Move it to where that crook in the T is. The 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 one for the back. Try it there. Right. I'll tell you why. Are you filming it, Brian? Yep. The reason I want it there is because that's where I look when I backflip. That's the spot. Oh. When I squat, I'm looking down. Right. So anytime I'm looking up, it's like disconnected from two very motor patterns that I do a fuck ton of. No, right. this would be interesting. This would be good. That's this about that's good. that's about where I look when I spot the ground for backflip. Okay. And we're actually actually I think I think you're gonna do a backflip. Do that. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's oh. that, I did it. That's why I had my hands out here, and then I'm. Right. <laughs> see my head did yeah. this. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're working with a weirdo, Dave. Just a single again. Feet are a leg press. Yeah, but oh. then, yeah. There you go. Eyes on it. Now I see it's rolling again. Okay. Oh, there we go. Closer or further? Did you see on the video there how his back rolled mm -hmm. when he went down? Really? Yeah. Now we're talking about, you know, one rep strength, yeah. right? And if that, if that's moving just even a little bit, you know, as yeah. you're going down and it's rolling forward, you, you know what the outcome of that is. Bad. Either you have to do a good morning to come back from it, uh -huh. or you're going to strain through it to be able to get that. <laughs> Where I want to go back to that straight bar angle. Gotcha. To be able to see. Damn, I feel like I lost ground. It's like I'm trying to get it closer and closer so I continue to look at my feet. Mm-hmm. I didn't think of the connection to backflips, like using a pattern that Juju's already integrated yes. into sports training he's done before. 
but just applying it to a squat. Well, it didn't work, so. <laughs> you know what, though? It, in all fairness, usually it does. Yeah. Normally, if I'm helping somebody with a squat or a deadlift and I, and I can relate it to a sport or something that they've done thousands of times, it's, it's a shortcut. Yeah. It's a huge shortcut. But what this is fine as long as you're focusing on there. We got to get, you know what you did, right? You, yeah. You, we got to get the breathing in that flexing a little bit slower. I remembered it because I made you it. I like, Oops, let yeah, me try you again. Did remember it. Yeah, so this yeah. one, it will be solid. That will be solid, and we'll be able to go up after this. See, guys, I, I listen. I, I do care. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I, I appreciate I appreciate the uh, all the really good powerlifters out there being patient with my clown ass being on the Elite FTS channel. <laughs> I really I really like this stuff. I just, I like a lot of things. That's why I do it all. That was good. That was good. Did that feel significantly different to you? The thing I focused on there was, well, a lot of this is one step at a time, foot placement, get your breath. And I'm listening to him. He told me to kind of load it so I don't punch right at the ends. So I got a full 360 brace without like a, a drastic ending. And then when I looked at the collar, I just like, I just kept my head still the whole time. So that's really what I focused on. Oh. I don't know. I guess he wants me to go back up. <laughs> We're go back up. Now, the way you explained your breathing was loading, right? That's yes. what the word that you said was load, right? Okay. So we were on the same page. So if I say load, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yes. All right, okay. All right, so head, feet, load. Good, good, good. I think we need to go up more, a little bit more weight. Let's do it. All right. So let's just go a quarter. So the sternum. What are you thinking, Dave? What part of me is thinking if I can bring the sternum up just a little bit and have him kick his knee or try, intentionally try to turn his knees out a little bit, we're going to get a little bit more lat activation and more hip activation, but we're also going against a lot of things that he's been doing. So I don't know if it's going to be like be a disaster or not be a disaster. <laughs> um, and I don't want to do both at the same time. So I'm trying to figure out which one to do first. Um, how do you grab the bar? Wait, now like this. Is that how you grab it? Yeah. Um, what, what is the intent that you think through when holding the bar in your back? Well, I got to get it comfortable for my shoulders, first of all, because if it's too far in. Yeah, so once you're warmed up, like right now, are you thinking like pull the bar down, pull the bar apart, flex your lats? Or, or kind of get my elbows a little bit underneath it. Because okay. everyone I've ever worked with that knows more than me keeps telling me get my elbows in, get my elbows in, get my elbows in. So I'm trying to like torque like this. And I don't the, want you to kind of pull down like a lat pull down. Yeah, I don't disagree with them. I, I would rather you try to do like when you're in this position here and now we have different contacts with the bodybuilding. Try to flare your lats like you do a double bicep. Oh. Front double bicep. So I don't want you to worry so much about this. I want you to worry about this. Yeah, okay. Right now, I get that leads to that. But I want your intention to be on the lats instead of the elbow. My squat is help. <laughs> what I'm trying to do is... is My with, squat needs help. <laughs> yes. Is with the, with the bigger stuff, you know, you, there should be a mental process until it really becomes ingrained. Yeah. You know, so there should be no more than four cues so then when it's heavy and with the warm-ups you're like okay head feet load yes pull right mm -hmm. and then over and over then it will you'll forget it but if something ever falls off you're gonna know those are your mental if i do if i do this what would you call that that your feet are coming in your knees are coming in okay now what would you call that your knees are not giving in they're going the other way Tor give me 
what? I call it torquing. Torque, okay, yeah. torque. So the torque is what we're gonna want, right? So it's gonna be, ah, screw my thing up. HFLPT. Changes. I have an alphabet over here. Head, torque. Oh, that's second now. Feet, load, pull. Okay. And the torque may be automatically already happening. I don't know. Okay. Do you think you're doing that or are you just squatting down? I think I'm doing it. We'll see. No, we'll find out. Yeah. I, th I think I get the torque from pushing outwards, kind of spreading the floor, and getting my glutes. That's I, I think so. And that, think so. that actually is why one of the reasons warming up to a top weight is so tiring is because I'm always firing those glutes as hard as I can. Okay. Every warm up set up to my top set. It looks like it. It looks like it. But yeah. if we cue it and it does, you know, and it moves, then you're yeah. not. But we'll see. All right. Head, torque, feet, load, pull. Yep. I think you were always doing it. I was doing it the whole time? I think so. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> torque goes away. <laughs> well, I guess I guess the goal is to have no letters left in the alphabet. Well, or no more than four. I don't like more than that. Yeah. Um, that's pretty solid. Um, what What did you work up to earlier? Uh, I think five eighty five. All right. Now I wore knee wraps there at the you know, cheetah wraps there near the end there. So. Does that change things? Four ninety five. Yeah, I mean I'll have you put. You don't need to go up to that again. What I want I want you to go heavy enough that you don't have to think as hard. I can just give the cues and see what's going to stick. Okay. But not so heavy that it's, you know, you're just on Pluto to be able to get it done. Yeah. Well, why don't we go up to 525, 540? Does that sound good? Yeah. Cuz what is that at? That's at That's at 475. Yeah. So if we go play, and now we're going to play 50 or 60 pounds, something like that. Now do you want me to throw the wraps on or what? Yeah. Okay. Five fifty. If you want to go to 525, we need a uh, five on each side. So Let's do it for a dime on each side. A dime on each side, yeah. Because I know we have. Go ahead. So there are a bunch of cues that are in chalk here that Dave is actually saying out loud. <laughs> How has that been for you, John? HFLP. 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 Yep. Uh, it's just putting uh, things in the correct sequence, I think, of, 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 of order of, of what to focus on, but also um, what's needed. So he's noticing my head position was first. Mm -hmm. They want me to focus on my feet, head, feet, load, load and then pull, pull being like a lap pull down. Hmm. So load is like make sure when I brace, um, with my air load that I don't go and punch at the end because I, I tend to do that. So I have to make sure it's a, a kind of a gradual 360 degree filling out of mm -hmm. around the belt for pressure. Now, a, lot of these, a lot of these cues I'm getting from him. So I'm listening to what he's telling me and then I'm finding the cue on what he said to put back to him instead of just giving him a cue that I would use for other people. Uh -huh. because that's that's where the loading because the loading's different most people would be like belly air you know break the belt or something like that so when i asked him what do you think of what is your intent there's a reason for that because he'll say i'm loading that there's already a connection with what that is so why not use what that connection is and start a, instead of making something else up do you like to start cues from what an athlete's more familiar with of course of course because you can't, I, I don't like confusion. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because you want to get that checklist as, as short as you possibly can. Because eventually, when the weight gets heavier and the, you go on that arousal curve and you get higher to the top where you're more mentally psyched up, those cues won't be there. They have to be automatic.
Huh. Right. And if they are there, it's going to be if you have training partners that are screaming at you. Hmm. And then normally they're only going to be screaming one of those things. Right. Right. And it's the one that you screw up the most. And that's why you'll hear some people be head, 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 or whatever it's going to be. It's that one thing they screw up because the rest is going to fall into place because it's automatic. On those really heavy sets. Well, Juju can probably tell you on those really heavy sets. Remembering more than two to three things at a time is impossible. They're not going to remember anything. They're not going to remember. They might react to one of the ten times you scream head or whatever it's going to be. Ah. Right? So it's, that's, if, if that, most of the time they can't even hear you. So you try to keep it simple. Yes. And then every warm-up set should be that mental checklist to reinforce. It's just the learning process. 35. 535. Well, these guys are two and a half, 540. Oh, 540. The pink one's on there? Mm -hmm. I, oh, oh. I couldn't see. Yeah. Okay. Is there on this side? Nope. nope. Right. 535. There you go. Oh man, oh, that was clean. They were finally. That was super clean. The whole time I'm trying to like find where this is going. Now you see where it's gone. Yeah, that felt good. Yeah, what was it you did before? What was the top set of the last one? 585. Let's go 585 or six or something. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Which one are you thinking? Just go to six. Right, so, so you've got a deep dish plate on the very end here, but you said it matters how you distribute those plates? Well, not, not, not in the way that you're thinking. I have one deep dish over there, so I put one over here. I don't mm -hmm. want all slim line on. If they're, so let's say they're all deep dish on one side and all slim on the other side, it's going to feel offset. Even the small stuff like deep dish plates, yeah. it matters. Yes, yes. Six, oh, five. Come on! Hut! Come on. Head, feet, load, pull, head, head, and good. Whoa. Easy. Whoa, man. The hip death? Yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. How'd that's that good. No, that's good. That's good. It's better than when I freaking came in here. <laughs> <laughs> we only took two and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. we only had to get warmed up. <laughs> yeah. I didn't show him anything he wasn't already doing in phases before. Like I, when we started, it's just reconnecting those things mm -hmm. and then keeping it in there for those heavy days that you do that. On the other days, you know, you don't. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Yeah. So that was pretty much the top set for you. Thanks, Dave. Yes. I just gotta remember everything at once, and especially my head. Yeah, just buddy. remember yeah. help. Oh, yeah, help. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. How can we make E for feet? Yeah, no, I was trying to think. E. Someone in the comment section is smart. Energy. Eat. Yeah. Feet. Feet. Eat. 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 <laughs> yeah, I can eat. Yeah. So, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks, guys. I t trust me. I don't take for granted the opportunity is to train with someone. Like Dave, so thank you very much no, for great. having me. I, I don't we take this for granted. Yep, that's cool. Thank you. Yep.